Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today I have a review of KDA's All Out EP. Okay, so those of you that don't know who KDA is, you're in for a bit of a treat, because this entire group, this music group, is virtual. They don't really exist. Similar to how Gorillaz is a group of fictional artists and uh, musicians coming together to make one band that's all actually produced by one person, KDA is a mix of a whole bunch of real-life artists that put their work into one solo kind of uh, group, that is KDA. And KDA is made up of uh, champions or characters from the League of Legends game. So as an avid League of Legends fan myself, this is not a big surprise to me, and I really do understand the whole idea and concept of a virtual band. But to those of you that are not a League of Legends player and or haven't really heard of something else or don't know about Gorillaz, this may be a little weird. But the group was formed or created in 2018 and had just one single, Pop Stars, that saw a lot of success not only in the League of Legends community, but also just in all the circles it touched. K-pop, just regular Western music, and especially the League of Legends community. But they went on to then, uh, I guess, star? in the uh, opening ceremony for the 2018 World Championships. And uh, from then, they've kind of had a year gap and now come back with this five track EP all out. And just like they performed in 2018, they did perform in 2020 virtually for the opening ceremonies of the World's 2020 Finals that happened on October 31st, 2020. But for those of you that don't know, KDA consists of four League of Legends champions. They're the characters, the name for characters is called champions. That being Akali, Evelyn, Kaisa, and Ari. And a special guest appearance from the new champion, Seraphin, that was just released with the uh, release of this EP. So for those of you that don't know anything about League of Legends and or what I'm talking about, that was a whole bunch of random jargon. So let's get into the actual EP review. The project is five tracks long, 16 minutes, and consists primarily of K-pop. And I have two disclaimers before I start the actual EP review, and one is that I don't really ever listen to K-pop. And so a lot of this is very new to me, and not that I can't review it because it's very new, but uh, it's just a new genre listening experience for me than anything else. And the second thing is that I'm not going to mention specifically who plays a role in each individual song. There's a whole bunch of different groups and K-pop groups, like big groups, and individual artists that kind of comprise, that come together and make up the group of KDA, the virtual group. It's not just one person doing each voice. It's a whole bunch of random people doing each individual voice for different tracks. So it's kind of all over the place. I'm not going to get into any of that. If you want to see who is actually singing each part, just go to your what you, how you listen to music, Apple Music, Spotify, or whatever you use, and you can just see the credits there. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to talk about them as they are the champions, the way the virtual group is supposed to be. This EP is a little interesting because while it resides mainly in the K-pop genre, each of the five tracks are pretty distinct and unique because each of the five of them kind of uh, call to a certain character or one of the members of KDA. So the first track, the baddest, is technically... A Kali's song. It's her one, and the second one is Seraphin's, and then so on, so on. But the first track, The Baddest, is a really strong leading cut. It's a pretty energetic track that is very much a badass woman's anthem. And it's got this fantastic trap backing beat for the most part of the song, and really maintains the drive and energy for it all throughout. And on top of all that, the chorus is crisp, clean, and easily gets stuck in your head. After one listen, I am kind of find myself singing it quite a bit as the day goes on. The two bridge sections here have this distorted bass line to them that sound like a motorcycle kind of whizzing by you really fast. It's kind of a hard sound to explain, but I really love it and it's one of my favorite individual sounds from the entire project. My only gripe with the song, and for the most part the entire EP, is the tracks end pretty abruptly, and I wish it kind of had a more... Uh, I don't know, like, and just ease out. Maybe that's what K-pop is. I really don't know. I li don't listen to any K-pop. More is the second track from the project and is easily the best. The first 30 seconds from this cut is absolute gold. There is this screeching bright sound that is just, oh, it's like a vocal chop. That's not quite a vocal chop. It is fantastic. I love it. And Akali's first verse is freaking fire. And just like the baddest, the chorus is catchy as hell. It's got that same high screech sound with a powerfully low bass line and that nice calm melody throughout, it is just a powerful trio of musical elements. But getting into the lore of this project, it's kind of special because it has a guest appearance from Seraphin, which is the newest champion that was released 
alongside this EP. And uh, it, they did something really interesting. They kind of gave a backstory to Seraphin as this kind of social media influencer wannabe musician where uh, she actually had some songs released before this project. So this really did feel like a feature within the KDA universe. She comes in for a verse at the end and it's ultimately okay. It's not the most superb thing in the world, but I do like that they kind of softened up her voice to give a little more uh, distinct distinctiveness between her and the rest of KDA. The four of them form this badass female group, and Seraphin comes in with this really nice, kind of bright, soft vocal that is a great dichotomy to the rest of the project, and uh, it does work well in that sense. Villain is our middle track and is easily the least busy of anything else on the project. This song is Evelyn's song and is actually portrayed by Madison Beer, and uh, she does a great job of kind of embracing the role and or character of Evelyn, who is a villain, uh, lore-wise, this kind of uh, sexual temptress. And uh, it does a good job of maintaining the thematics of what League of Legends, the characters and champions are, and still producing a good track. There's this last verse that has this distorted kind of droopiness to it that makes it sound like you are being tempted in and or infatuated with this Evelyn. And uh, it does a great job of also keeping the thematic elements of the whole project. I also just loved it um, musically. Drum Go Dumb reminds me a lot of actually Selena Gomez's earlier album in 2020. And uh, it's kind of got this reggaeton influence to it that has a nice bounce beat to it that is really easy to just head bob to. And the song ramps up into this really driven last 30 second kind of outro that is this dance floor drum and bass that I really want to hear more of now and wish the entire song was just like that. I'll Show You concludes the project and is Ari's track from KDA and sounds a lot like a Lady Gaga single does. It's got that minimalistic old school kind of groove to it that uh, kind of explodes into this very bright, wholesome chorus. One of which has the same lyrical content that Lady Gaga does have of the kind of empowerment and showing you what I'm made of kind of idea. It uh, works quite well and the more you listen to it, the more I find that it really does sound like Lady, a Lady Gaga track. This is truly a unique project and not just for what they did in the League of Legends community, but the fact that they created champions that came together and made their own mini universe of this pop star group and had a new feature come in and that all of that was successful in real music and that they made tracks that were actually good is just mind boggling. It is so impressive what Riot put together. Just the fact that it's getting people to listen to, enjoy, and engage with K-pop, a whole genre of music I've never listened to before, is a feat in of itself. The whole project is pretty much about kind of the female empowerment, look what I can do, I'm the baddest, badass kind of uh, idea and or thematic elements. And uh, it does a really good job of keeping a whole tone like that, but also individually having each of the five kind of artists characters, champions, have their own song and their own feel to the tracks. Like, Akali is the badass, Evelyn is the weird distorted one, Seraphim is the soft voice, Ari is the bright kind of Lady Gaga, and Kaisa is the mm, Selena Gomez type. Each track is produced really well and sung marvelously by each of the people that are contributing to each of the tracks. The fact that they managed to have all this cohesion with all these different hands in the cookie jar is just incredible, and I think it's really something special. And for those reasons, KDA's All Out EP is going to score an eight. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Bowtide Media. Let me know what you guys think of this. I think it's crazy that right now this is my fourth favorite EP of the year. If you want to see my whole list, you can go to albumoftheyear.org and look up Bowtide Media. You can see everything updated uh, for then. But uh, leave a like if you liked and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will see you guys in another video.